Hi, my name is Micah Book. I'm a postdoc at Slack, and I'm presenting poster number 77 about using probabilistic deep learning to image electron tracks in a novel liquid argon time projection chamber telescope concept called Gamma TPC. Gamma TPC is designed to measure MEV scale gamma rays. There are a number of significant science drivers for detecting gamma rays at this energy scale. First of all, we can simply catalog sources. Only tens of astronomical sources have been cataloged in this energy range, compared to thousands of sources cataloged by Fermilat, or billions of sources expected to be seen by upcoming surveys like the LSST. Most nuclear transition lines occur at the KEV to MEV scale, so the gamma TPC would be able to make new measurements of the particle content and evolution of the Milky Way. Finally, an MEV scale telescope would be able to observe transient events at that energy, which would make important contributions to the emerging field of multi-messenger astronomy. The current data sets available for MEV scale astronomy are much smaller and less sensitive than at nearly all other energy scales. We expect gamma TPC to be roughly 1,000 times more sensitive than the last detector, CompTEL. The standard design for such a detector is often called a Compton camera. It works by measuring at least two Compton scatters of a gamma ray and using their measured energy and position to kinematically reconstruct the gamma ray origin. The precision with which one can make these energy and position measurements is a major driver of the sensitivity of an instrument of a given size. Gamma TPC would use pixels to capture images of tracks of ionization made by Compton scattered electrons. We use convolutional neural networks on the track images to reconstruct the initial position and direction of the scattered electron. We also use a technique called evidential deep learning to estimate the uncertainty on the reconstructed position. Evidential deep learning places a Bayesian conjugate prior on the model and produces a conjugate posterior distribution after training, which describes both how different a sample is from the mean sample and how sure the network is about its prediction. We find after training that there is a tight correlation between the true error of the model's predictions and its self-predicted uncertainty. We apply the trained model to a megalib simulation of our detector and find that we can select events with low predicted uncertainty to improve the pointing accuracy of the experiment. We are also able to predict the initial direction of the scattered electron with another CNN. We can see that we are gaining useful information by measuring the cosine of the angle between the true and predicted initial electron directions, finding that it peaks towards a value of 1. To further improve these results, we are planning to move towards a graph neural network-based approach and will allow for correlated uncertainties in our uncertainty quantification. We are working towards making this telescope a reality. Thank you, and I hope to hear from you. My Slack username is Micah Book, and my email address is mbuuck at slack.stanford.edu.